and welcome, it's me, Marvels44, welcome back to another Courage Fade Vanguard, Courage Fade Area, Deck Profile. Today's Deck Profile, we have the Blade Master, that is, Dragonic. Man, these guys are making it harder and harder for me, aren't they? <laughs> um, Dragonic Blade Master. So with the release of, uh, Vanguard GBTO1, uh, this card came out with some great support, and it's a very very strong stride deck um, definitely worth playing and so much fun honestly just trying to continuously retire your opponents rear guards and everything it's just it's a lot of fun um, but yeah enough about that um, strong deck pretty much but let's just remove the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can't speak I'm sorry <laughs> Um, let's move into the deck profile. So our starter is Wyvern Kid Ragra. So its skill is Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, put it in your soul, choose one of your opponent's grade 1 or less rear guards, and retire it. So it's a Generation Break Linchu for Kageros. Um, pretty solid card, just to eliminate something you don't want your opponent to have. Simple enough. Um, moving on to our grade 3s. We have four Dragonic Blade Master. So his skill is Generation Break Two. Uh, during your battle, during your turn, if the number of rear guards is more than your opponent's, uh, this unit gets plus five thousand and an extra crit. So great pressure for that. Um, for when your opponent's at four damage, to just you know pressure with that extra crit. It's like, am I gonna pull a crit? Who cares? I have an extra crit. Um, and I mean, if they're at three, well, that's pretty scary too. Um, but just great pressure in general. Um, and its other skill is Counter Blast 1. During your turn when your G unit stride, you may pay the cost. If you do, you retire one of your opponent's rear guards. So, um, anytime you stride on top of this card, you just Counter Blast and boom, the card gets killed. Uh, easy. Just as simple as that. Um, very strong in that regard as well. Of just, you know, the Counter Blast 1 um, kill something. Uh, same thing for, you know, Chrono Jet, as I said, um, in the last deck profile, it's the same type of thing, and it's just very, very strong, um, with that type of skill, um, but yeah, just really solid card, and then we also have four Double Parish Dragon, so this is kind of an odd card, um, but the reason I played in the deck is you don't, you want to focus on Dragonic Blade Master just like with Chrono Jet. Like you use the uh, stride, in, the Grade One Stride Enabler, uh, to help find Dragonic Blade Master. Um, if you don't have him, this guy is pretty much stri uh, stride fodder. Um, but if you have to ride him, you will, and you can use it fairly well. Um, his first skill is Generation Break One. Uh, you counter blast two and retire one of your opponent's rear guards. It's a hefty cost, especially for the deck, this deck, which uses one counter blast to retire everything. Um, but its secondary skill is pretty solid. Uh, if you have to ride this card, you'll never use the generation his generation break skill because it's too hefty. Unless you really, really have to, but I I doubt it. <laughs> um, and his other skill is counter blast one, soul blast one. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, you pay the cost, and you choose one of your opponent's grade one or less rear guards and retire it. So, pretty solid for just, you know, eliminating some boosters and stuff. Um, and also, you don't use the soul in the stack. You never touch the soul. Um, the only person that uses the soul is this card, so it's not too bad. It's it's basically like it's it's basically like every other card that retires in the stack, just one counter blast to retire, um, because the soul you don't really care about so it still brings that early pressure and it can uh, before you stride it's the only card that can retire so it's not too bad um, still can bring a bit of early pressure even though you don't get Dragonic Blade Master um, for retiring um, and <laughs> it's stride fodder as well so um, there's nothing else you really want to play in the deck just because everything else uses too many counter blasters to focused on something and and yeah um, so it's just a solid card for the deck uh, and for how the deck runs um, anyways moving on to our grade twos we have 
for Dragon Knight Javad. Um, Generation Break 1, he's a 12k beater. Um, so pretty solid. Four of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have four Twilight Arrow Dragon. Generation Break 1, you counterblast one, and when this unit attack of, attacks a Vanguard, if it's boosted, you can retire one of your grade your opponent's grade two or less rear guards. Um, so it's pretty, very, very solid actually. Not just pretty solid. Um, so whenever it's boosted after you stride, when you stride the first time, uh, whenever you boost this card, it, you just basically counter blast one, retire whatever you want. It just can't be grade three. Um, but really solid for that, and you know, is one of your main retiring units along with Dragonic Blade Master. Uh, so you're focusing on Dragonic Blade Master retiring every time you stride, and this guy retiring every time he gets boosted, and then some of your stride units, uh, no, all your stride units, pretty much, uh, trying to retire as well. So very solid. Those are your three key retiring units, and that's why I have you know the other grade three as I mentioned um, and then we also have four wyvern strike Doha I was gonna play three of these guys but there's really no other card to play or play extra of or anything that will work well um, so I played four of these um, four of your 10 Ks makes a solid column um, for it helps you not get rushed uh, it makes a solid column with a certain card and it can hit 21k or higher with with that same certain card so it helps you know keep your deck more consistent along with the 12k beater and especially early on uh, I'll show you in a second um, he's not bad to throw in a column alone and also early on with uh, before your 12k beater gets the 12k beat because of the generation break there's um, there's a certain card that should only be boosting this guy I keep saying certain card. I should probably go to the card, but <laughs> I'll show you in just a second. Um, let's move on to grade one. So we have four Protector of Dragons. So, you know, the damage unflipper perfect card that I talked about last deck profile. Um, it's good in this deck because, well, you can continuously try to unflip some of your damage um, and try to just retire more, uh, especially with, you know, how much you can just constantly retire by just one attack and one stride um, but it's a cost of a counter blast still so it, it's pretty solid I've been thinking of playing the normal perfect guard but I think this works better in this deck um, the unflipper just a bit better um, so yeah if you feel like playing the normal one go ahead I don't mind um, it's your choice. And then we have four stride enablers, the grade one stride enablers, lava flow, uh, hill, he searches for your dragonic blade master, and also he gains plus two grade when you want to stride. So yeah, solid. Uh this is the card I was talking about with the ten K by the way. Dragon Monk Guyaru. Um <laughs> sorry, I can't I can't pronounce that properly. Um so generation break one. Um Sorry. <laughs> uh, but when your opponent's rear guard is put into the drop zone by effect of one of your cards, it gains 5k. So it's a solid. Uh, it's it's a 6k card that gains 5k, but it's not too bad, especially because you have you know your four 10ks um, that it can be behind, your vanguard that it can be behind, um, and also your 12k beaters after you've strided that it can be behind. So there's three different units it can be behind it just can't be behind uh, your twilight arrow other than that put it behind any of the others <laughs> pretty solid um so yeah he helps you hit those uh 21k column or higher columns as well with boosting uh you know your grade threes or the 12k beaters or your 10k vanillas um with just a retirement and especially with some stuff that uh with one of your strides that retires two and then you can retire another with Twilight Arrow. This guy could gain like fifteen in a turn. Oh no wait, forgot about Dragonic Blade Master. You could you could get twenty K in a turn with this guy. So it can honestly make for some really scary columns. Um and really, really pressure your opponent hard. Um, especially with, you know, the fact that you're stride and you're probably like thirty K or something. So and then you have another column like thirty K or something. <laughs> um so yeah, just a very strong card. Uh, I was thinking of running forward, but 
No, I think uh, the extra 10k vanilla is pretty handy. Um, if you want to run four of this and three 10k vanillas, go ahead. I rec uh, but yeah, this is the way I think it works best. Um, and then we have two Flame of Strength at a key that... <laughs> Out of key. Um, I don't know how to say that. You put in your soul when your opponent's regard is put into the drop zone due to an effect from one of your cards. You pay the cost. If you do choose up to two of your cards from damage zone, turn face up. This is kind of why I've been thinking of switching the perfect guard out to the normal perfect guards. Uh, if you want to and you think it's better, go ahead. Uh, I go ahead. I don't. I don't mind. I do it if you want. Uh, I only do it because. A lot of the time I don't end up using this guy, and that's also why you have two. He's kind of like that card that you might need if you really just want to blow your opponent's field up and you can, you know they can't win or beat you if you do um, when you're at that point in the game. And that's why you only play two. That's why I don't have three of him. Um, and three is a little much, I find. Um, the normal number is two or three, but I think two works perfectly. Um, but yeah, he he helps to unflip damage, but you don't want to use him all the time. It's it's definitely very situational, um, and it, yeah, that's 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 why I play the norm, uh, not the normal perfect guard, the unflipping perfect guard, because this guy is, well, there's certain times I won't use him, and certain times I might use him, and still it's kind of might. So, um, but he's just a solid card for unflipping damage when you need that you know, clutch moment as well. Um, Kagero, never the best for having the best boosters. <laughs> um, I mean grade ones, sorry. Not boosters. And then we have on two triggers. So four Megarum Shot Draco Kid. Uh and then four Blue Ray Draco Kid. Gotta love the Draco Kids. I'm sorry, I love my Draco Kids. <laughs> so eight crit. Um four Gatling Claw. So killing some starters. Uh four draw. And then four Mother Orb Dragon. Loving this Heal trigger looks pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, standard trigger lineup. 8 crit, 4 draw, 4 heal. And let's move on to our stride units finally. Um, so we have 4 Imperial Flame Dragon King Root Flare Dragon. So what it does is you choose uh, a face down card. that uh, Another face down card of this in your G zone. Um and turn it face up and if the number of face up cards in your G zone is two or more that doesn't include your vanguard circle so just G zone uh, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire all of your opponent's rear guards in the same column so just by flipping over another card of this you get to retire two rear guards in a column for free here's the one I was talking about with you can get uh, your grade one to 20k with twilight arrow and Dragonic Blade Master plus him. Uh, you can get your grade one gains plus 5k booster to 20k with that. So that's pretty scary. Um, and it's just, this card's so good. It just can retire things so easily with no cost. Just unflip one of them. Which means you can only use this uh, stride unit twice uh, if you use a skill. But that's not too bad. Especially for, they'll probably be dead by then. Or after that <laughs> so it's a very very just very strong card um, and then we have three divine dragon knight Muhammad uh, so when this unit attack hits a vanguard you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it just for some he, he's basically uh, there are no other Kagero striders right now that are out um, so he's basically just um, a pressure unit early on in the game um, just to try to pressure for more retiring if you hit. Um, so he's just a really solid card for that. And yeah, that's that's really what he's for. Just early on, retire pressure for attacking. And I mean, if your opponent is being careful in what they're calling and not calling everything um, as well, you could just stride with him again instead of striding into your other guy because you can't kill a whole column because your opponent hasn't fully called anything. So you could just try to pressure with this. Um, so yeah, um, just... A solid early game pressure card, basically. And then, yeah, we actually have one Cray Elemental card here. Um, it's Miracle Element Atmos. Um, uh, and what it does is Counterblast 1 when the student attacks the Vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do. Gains 10,000 power until end of turn. Uh, so, the Cray, Cray Elemental cards work for all clans, by the way. And the reason I run this card in this deck is because of the fact, well, 
Muhammad's good. You really only need like two or three. I'd say two at the at the most, but there's really no other Kagura stride. Um, and so I run three just for extra, you know, pressure, just in case I need it. Uh, you only want to run one of these Cray Elementals. If you want to run two of these and two of the Muhammad, go ahead. Feel free. Um, but this card's pretty good for finishing off, finishing off a game when you know your opponent doesn't have any more perfect cards. Just stride it, kind of last one, gains 10k, so it's probably at like 40 Okay, um, and you're good. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a very, very strong card for that, and just for finishing off games. Um, <laughs> there's no other reason to really run it in this deck, but that's, that's what it's for, and it's really good at doing its job, trust me. I know. <laughs> so that's about it for this deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The deck list will be in the description below, as always. Remember to like and comment. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. That's about it. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos, so you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are Card Fight Vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, and a Versus series on my channel, so you can go to my channel and check that out. Also, down below is my review channel, where I do reviews, countdowns, game chats, which is like a podcast, and more. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Skype, all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.